Breaking news from the land of never-ending resurrections. Dexter Morgan, the world's favorite morally ambiguous serial killer, is back. And no, he didn't just survive a hurricane and a shot to the heart because of plot armor. He's clearly some kind of immortal entity powered by his sheer determination to dodge accountability. It's like watching Ted Bundy escape a courtroom window all over again. But this time, the man's got a scalpel and an inner monologue narrated by Michael C. Hall. The trailer kicks off with Dexter in a hospital bed, muttering something about life flashing before your eyes. Translation, this entire series is one big fever dream of his greatest hits, conveniently retconned into whatever the writers want to call, canon this week. Sure, his chest has been shredded, but this guy has survived worse, like that lumberjack face. And now we're expected to believe that after everything, he's going to get back to business as usual? Of course, because when you're Dexter Morgan, death is just a minor inconvenience. Let's talk casting. Young Masuka giggles his way onto the screen, nailing the laugh so perfectly it's almost unsettling. Meanwhile, Harry's back, but this time he looks like he's aged up instead of down which is apparently fine because we've also got Batista Laguerta and Masuka's younger selves showing up as dead ringers for their originals. It's uncanny, really, like someone unearthed a time capsule of actors and injected them with CGI and hope. But don't let the nostalgia bait fool you. This show doesn't just aim to connect dots, it's tying itself into pretzels. Prequel, flashback, sequel setup for resurrection. It's all of the above, baby. By the time Original Sin wraps, you'll have seen Dexter's entire life twice, once through his eyes, and again through his victim's PTSD. And if you think this is just a one-season nostalgia trip, think again. Dexter Resurrection is already in the works, promising more Batista face-offs and, dare we say it, another wigged-out Dexter running from the consequences of his bad decisions. If you know someone who likes Dexter, send them this. Tell them the Bay Harbor Butcher isn't just back, he's immortal, untouchable, and probably working on his memoir titled It's Not Over Until I Say It's Over. Just don't be surprised when season two involves a Dexter multiverse and an Afro-wigged dokes yelling, surprise motherfucker!"